be presenting um, acute physical injury management. This is uh, Dr. Hitesh Shah's talk. So, uh, uh, okay, start with the uh, an ARS. ARS is still active? Yeah, yeah it's still active. active. No classification. <laughs> no classification. <laughs> it's not my talk. I'm sorry, I just inherited the slides, I would have no idea. If you start music, more people vote. Yeah. <laughs> music stimulates people to vote. And time also. What happened to the music? He's on mobile. Okay. So uh, eight and two, ten and uh, six. See? <laughs> <laughs> Music stimulates. Okay, close reduction in wire seems to. Okay. Okay, the second one. Enough, enough. You wasted half your talk time in okay. this. So, uh, the basic. Have you music solo? Conservative and caste. So basically it is the same. So as we go on, we'll try to uh, answer a few of these questions. Hey, stop. <laughs> the relative contributions of all these five... Hey, music ban kar, yaar. <laughs> DJ chalu ho The relative contributions of all these vices is uh, well known. And... Uh, there are some things we can control and some things we can't control. We have to get adequate imaging, adequate reduction, and surgical trauma. These are the things that uh, you know uh, we can we can control. But the trauma at the time of injury, what happens at the time of injury, we can't. And also the age, these two playing a big role in physical arrest. So to achieve reduction, that is paramount, either closed or open, and no reduction should be attempted after uh, 10 days. That as per you know what Dr. Marlin said. 90% of them will is amenable to closed reduction conservative treatment, but sometimes if closed reduction doesn't work, open reduction may be required, it has to be gentle. No repeated forceful reduction attempts should be done and nothing should be done after 10 days. So this is a child with type 1 and type 2, you get a closed reduction and immobilization. And it's a very displaced fracture and a closed reduction and casting. In one year follow-up, you see that it's as if nothing has happened. It's all remodeled back. So the exceptions are, of course, the uh, hip, the head of the femur, and distal femur. So here you can see a separation, visceral separation, in a seven-year-old boy, which needed a closed, smooth k -wire. This has to be crisscrossed in both the planes. It's just like a supracondyla. So the smooth pins relatively are much more, much more uh, harmless and prevent any development of any bars, unlike the screw attempts we saw. So here is a salt of one of a hip and a six-year-old boy with a history of RTA, a closed reduction, and then three smooth k -wise. And in five years follow-up, it has healed very well and the uh, hip is still reduced well. And this is a uh, intraarticular fracture. It's a type three and type four of the ankle. You need to achieve anatomic reduction. I need to achieve anatomic reduction and fixation with a cancellous screw. If you have a, 
malleolus fracture or a lateral condyle fracture, then you may need open reduction to achieve a, uh, uh, a good reduction. And you may need to do arthrogram to see if the joint is congruous. So as few, uh, as few pins as possible, and uh, you can't insert screws across the physis. Screws can be inserted across the epiphysis, but not across the physis. So handling of the epiphysis itself has to be very minimal. You avoid crossing the physis with threaded implants and only do it with smooth pins and as little passes as possible. So here is a, uh, a Salter type 4 type of injury and uh, you did an arthrogram, verify the articular congruity and fixed with a cancellous screw. Here is a lateral condyle fracture and fixed with uh, two smooth pins, one horizontal to achieve a reduction of the articular surface along with an arthrogram and one uh, a diagonal. Again, this is a Salter type 4 injury fixed with a cancellous screw. A CT scan will show the displacement and that has to be reduced properly. Reduction can be verified with arthrogram. 11 year old child fall on uh, knee and you can see a widely displaced uh, fracture, a Salter 4 type of injury fixed with a, a, a couple of uh, cancellous screws across the epiphysis. So the physis has not been crossed. So here uh, you can see the follow up and two years later it has gone on to heal well with full range of motion. Certain cases the closed reduction may not work and you may need to do open reduction and this is a, a bad injury of the ankle along with the physial injury of the uh, distal tibia and uh, CT scan shows how uh, this has uh, resulted in a comminuted metaphysial area and an open reduction was done, articular alignment was achieved and uh, talus was fixed separately and tibia was fixed separately both with CG screws. And they went on to heal uneventfully. So type 5, as uh, Dr. Molin mentioned, is always retrospective. It is a compression injury and this is a child with a uh, fall from height with a compression injury and severe head injury also and you can see the comminution across the physis and the metaphysial area. So in such cases well, limited options are possible it is just important to maintain the epiphysis in whatever alignment you can get. It, the accurate anatomic reduction may be difficult to obtain so as little passes as possible and only smooth pins. So accept the malunion and then correct the deformity later. So in any case, avoid late manipulation. And this child presented with a history of fall. And and 10 days later, there is a dorsal displacement here. But we are not going to correct it. We are just going to leave it. And this is the remodeled uh, distal physis where it is uh, all back in alignment. So here is another child with a uh, fall one month back with a separation across the physis. So again, no remanipulation attempt is done. We accept it. It went on to physial arrest and you can see the limb length discrepancy. We will correct the limb length discrepancy at a later date. So in type 5, it is always retrospective. You follow up the child, look for the growth arrest lines and uh, see whether there is a uniform growth arrest lines. If the growth arrest lines are parallel, then there is no growth disruption. But if it is angled like in this case, then there is a bar across it, which we need further imaging. So, and this is a 14-year-old boy with a uh, injury, which has been fixed in the metaphysial fragment and the epiphysial fragment separately. I think facial bar, there is a next talk. So, so in summary, yeah. Uh, first week is uh, crucial to treat. One and two, you can treat conservatively. Three and four, you have to get anatomic alignment and you may need an arthrogram. Four and five, uh, five and six, is, uh, you know, five especially is retrospective and you need to keep on the follow-up. Thank you.